Well, good morning, guys. Uh, I managed to escape Wales. Wales is still in the lockdown, and I managed to um, get out nice and early this morning. And I'm up at Evesham uh, on the Warwickshire Raven. It's the first of the um, qualifying matches, or no, second one actually. Uh, yeah, the opening day they had one, and uh, the, the normal pegs, of course, got in. Um, it's all about the draw at Evesham. I mean, it's interesting fishing. You know, some places are hard, and then some places you just fall on them, and and it's easy. Um, but what I like about Evesham, you've got a, you know a sort of a, a six peg section uh, to go for. You know, it's only it's worth forty quid. It pays for the uh, um, pool money and a bit of breakfast. So uh, that's the the goal, I think. Uh, apparently, they've had a bit of rain up here, so there's a little bit of colour in there. They said the bream might go to again today. So we shall have to see. So I can do the draw in a minute. Are you booked in for that then? Uh, Tuesday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. You are? Yeah, I'm... Is that the first time you fished it? Yes, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Good matches. I managed so to get in 10th last time I fished it. Yeah, yeah. No, I look forward to it. Yeah. I look forward to it. Say, weekends a mess. I might be able to fish tomorrow if Chris told me to fill in. But... It's just good to have it all made for people today. So you got an invite here then, Peter? No, no, no it's fine. It There's no invite. Oh, is it? Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, you qualified on Tuesday, do you? No, no, I oh. qualified. Uh, I all right. pairs with Lee Gardner. Yeah. On one of the uh, all right. opens in the winter. All right, okay. I think I have 13 pound of Lee. Oh. So I've qualified for the Witch Haven, but it's yeah. not my traditional And what is it today? Is it Witch Haven? It's a Witch Haven. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> so it's no, you know, it's unfortunate I can't fish, but it's worth it. Mm. Necessary, but Evesham's yeah. the one. Is it? It's an Evesham smile, isn't it? Let's go and see the drawer. Well, Cheers, bud. Oh, they got all the spaces spaced out, yeah? Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you? Yeah. But it doesn't relate to the peg. You don't know what the peg is. All right, okay. It's a random, random number. Oh, we'll see. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Yeah, All right, so they got a number and a letter, and it relates to a peg at some point. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? All oh, right, so you right. Well, that's so that number that that's strange, isn't it? So you pick a number, yeah. and then that number relates to a, relates number. To a, a draw number. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's strange. I never, never, never done that before. <laughs> well, oh well, so you have to think of it. You're sort of picking your own peg in a way, rather than her picking it for you. You're right. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know what's in the in the, the envelope, basically. Yeah. Well, that'll be giving it away. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, well. I should all keep their distance anyway, that's the main thing. Nobody's wearing their mask though, are they? <laughs> uh, yeah, some are drawn, some are off. Yes. Am I live? Yes. No, you're not live. <laughs> no, better not swear. <laughs> I've recorded everything you said then. No. <laughs> no, you're okay. Okay, we're on uh, our social distancing now for the draw. Right. Apparently, you've got to choose a number. All right. Oh. Do you know what the number is for the corporation, Ben? 
Oh, right. Up there. A7, A7. A7, 7. Oh, yeah, go on in. Yes, hello, Dad. <laughs> uh, just recording this. So I choose a number, which I've chosen E7. So she's going to turn that round now, and that's going to be number 71. <laughs> One of the best pegs. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> All right, sir. So there, I drawn 71. Um, I'm not too disappointed. Normally. I wouldn't give it, you know, a second thought because it's not one of the best pegs. But because a little bit of colour, um, you know, it has been known to um, catch fish, bream. But, uh, you yeah, know, you never know. So we'll give it a go. Let's go down and have a look at the peg. Yeah, peg 71. Got a bit of a bit of a feature across there, but you never know. Right, um, as I'm just settled down out on peg seventy one, I'm just come up to peg seventy, and who should be on you is uh, the local expert Ian Ian Shepherd. Hello, Ian. Hello, Brian. <laughs> He's concentrating. I am. I'm trying to work out scenarios. Really. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Welsh people were supposed to be fishing yet. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not supposed to be out of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. I am. Um... Right, so I've, uh, as I say, I had a little word with Ian. Now, Ian. Um... He's a local lad. You've lived your whole life, haven't you, Ian? All my life, right, yeah. All your life, yeah. Not very far away, for no. sure. All my life. But you know, the, the strange thing is, you know, I mean, I, I've known you a few, a few years now, because obviously I've been coming up here. Um, and, of course, you've, you've perfected the hemp method, which is uh, quite a, you know, yeah, very successful life. Yeah, but it's somewhere sorted, I think. Now, I, I, well, I would say you're probably the, uh, the number one man on hemp on, on the Avon, yeah. Maybe locally, yeah. yeah. It's a bit <laughs> but, you know, on this river. The, the other thing I found, though, is that... Um, yeah, you went down on the Bristol Avon using the same tactic, and and you you got in there as well. So just, just fed a bit heavier. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> and used bigger rigs, really, but yeah, yeah. similar I, sort of approach. Yeah, so, still the same approach. Yeah, same approach. I, I know I was drawn next to you once uh, with your fishing hemp, and uh, you, you you know you're so delicate with it. I mean, I'm surprised that sometimes you don't hardly put any hemp in at all, do you, when you're feeding? Not on this river. I do on no. other rivers, but yeah. Eversham, you don't need to. My aim is trying to get the fish up in the water. That's, right. That's what I try and do: is get them up as far as I can, competing. Ah. Uh, Okay, and, um, um, and it seems to work on the Warwickshire Avon better yeah. than most rivers. Well, I have seen you when you only put like about three grains of hemp in sometimes. Yeah, yeah it's very rare I put more than, than six in. Six yeah. seems to be like a stock feed. Amazing, yeah. Unless it's solid, then you can up it a bit. Yeah, yeah. But generally, no, generally you don't need much. Yeah, and of course, uh, you've obviously perfected this uh, method on you, and um, you seem to be in the money most days. Like, but uh, one thing I've noticed about your floats as well, they're very... Um, very small, aren't they? Very they're... small. Point fours, point threes, Is point they... fours. Oh my god! <laughs> occasionally, occasionally, a day like today might be a point six because yeah. there's a, a bit on. But um, no, generally, I find a point four is the go-to okay. float. Yeah, yeah. On this river, uh, um, and uh, you know, so obviously, somebody wants to learn hemp fiction a bit. Um, uh, what, what size hooks would you use? I generally use an, an eighteen. All oh, right, they're 18, really fine. Yeah. More. I use Preston PR three elevens, which I don't think you can get anymore. Okay, but no, that no, for no. me is that my go-to hook is the uh, is the three Preston three eleven. Okay, 11. all right, fair enough. And uh, as you say, and your diameter uh, bottoms eights, eights, yeah, eights, very yeah. fine, yeah, yeah. Six if it's really hard and really low and clear. Is it really point six? Yeah, 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 generally yeah. 08. I think I think the secret with hemp is knowing where your feed's going, so you can actually you know sort of uh, trot down in the, on the same. Confidence as well. And You've got to be very, yeah, very confident in yeah. it, thinking that is your method that you're going to catch on. Right. Yeah. Plus, your hook, your hook bait needs to be amongst your loose feed. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, is that yeah. is quite critical, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, once yeah. you start to achieve that and know where your hook bait is in relation to your loose feed, then that's when you start upping yeah. your game and catching more. And that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's quite crucial. Brilliant. Okay. And uh, your floats you use? Uh, do you? Um, do you make them yourself? No, no, you they're, they're, yeah. they're Dave Harrells. Oh, are they? Thank you, Dave. Oh very no, nice no, don't no, back to Dave. <laughs> no, <he's laughs> Oh, right, because you, you never used to use them, though, did you? Uh, I've, 
I used to use Chiantis. That's oh, what I guess so. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's still a Chianti. It's, it's, it's the same, same as a Chianti, yeah. but it's just got a thicker tip, and it, it's just yeah. so visible on this river. Yeah, all right. Okay. I think that's probably a point four. Yeah, yeah that's yep. a point four. Well, as most of them probably will be, I think, in that tray. That's. Uh, I don't know. You'll probably find that's my tray of mm. hemp floats, and they're probably all point fours apart from those last last few there, which, oh, brilliant. which I use if I'm either really bagging or um, mm. yes, there's a bit mm -hmm. more flow and depth. Well, obviously, you're, you're a bit of a um, perfectionist, said by look at this. <laughs> well, I've spent plenty of time to uh, sort it all out, really. Yeah, of course you have, yeah. 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 But it wouldn't normally be like that. There'd normally be three three rigs. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> I, I think during this lockdown, I think everyone's managed to put Everything's loads of same, think, <laughs> rigs yeah. up. Like. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the thing is, I mean, obviously, you know, you're pretty good at other fishing as well. I know that. But um, uh, you you certainly got the hemp uh, sort of um, sorted. Yeah, I think I've probably... Yeah, yeah, about as good as I get on there. Now. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm not sure I can improve much on it now, so I'm. Uh... Well, you know, I've been watching your results over the years, and sometimes, like you know, you you bring back bags of roach on swims, and other people would have just given up on, like so. You know, as you say, well, it's, again, a it's confidence. down to confidence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to my peg, thinking that is going to be my number one yeah. priority is to catch on hemp. Right. And if I don't, then obviously I don't catch you a lot. Blow, blow out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. Well, you do blow out a couple of times, but not that it's often. Not no. very often. No, no. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Just... If it's right, but yeah. you kind of know when the river's right, and if the mm. river's not right for it you yeah. do other things you have to do other things as well but mm. yeah you were telling me that uh, last or oh, yesterday that, that it was really coloured and it come up and it's a lot of colour yeah, yeah and it, it was over the pallets on the town yeah um, but when I looked this morning it was about eight inches under the pallets so it's, it's, come, it's come down eight to ten inches I'd say oh, since okay. yesterday morning well, do you think you'll catch on hemp today? What uh, do you think? I probably won't, because I might not even feed it today. Oh. <laughs> I've got my bream head on today. Oh, you got, I, yeah. I think it's going to be a bream match, and I don't see the point in messing no. around for six pounds of roach. No, fair when enough. And you're going to need 15 to 20 pounds of bream. So yeah, yeah, probably yeah. Probably won't even feed it today. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, but okay. I've not decided yet. I've still got to make that decision. All oh, right, okay. You, you might change it. I might so, change yeah. it with 10 minutes. Yeah. To before the start, I might change you might, I know, you keep the secret from me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no secrets from you, Clive. No, I know that. No. Yeah. One thing I can say about you, Ian, you're pretty open with everything. Oh, uh, well, you know. the hide. It's, only, it's, only no. it's only a hobby at the end of the day, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, yeah. It's not life and death. It's yeah, a no, yeah, yeah. We all go out to enjoy it and catch fish. Of course you do, yeah. There's no point yeah. keeping stuff to yourself. Really. No, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, well, let's uh, let's see what we do today. Be, we uh, catch a few bream. Yeah, I hope so, great. The colour has drastically gone, though. Yeah, it does, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably the same tactic as you. I'd probably on the feeder and you know long pole one, and one pole rig, and, and that's it. One feeder, yeah. yeah, one yeah okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Well, I'm uh, only a few minutes to go now, and um, that was an interesting uh, conversation with Ian. I mean, he is, uh, as I said, one of the best anglers on you. Um, as well as hemp fishing, he's pretty good at uh, the others as well. So uh, I got my work cut out, <laughs> trying to beat the next peg. Um, but there you are. Uh, I'd say the colour's just dropping out now, so hopefully there should be some bream showing. Um, just as we start the match, somebody started there uh, cutting the grass, I think, opposite. <laughs> it's a bloody nuisance. Never mind. Something we always got to put up with at Evesham. Opposite the caravan pack. All right, okay. Well, uh, as I said, uh, the oil in in a minute, so um, I'll probably start on the pole and then put the feeder over the same line, and I'm going to go across for the feeder as well. So uh, see what happens there. So so I can do. Yeah, just before we start, I just quickly tell you what I'm going to do as well. <laughs> Forgot about this. Um, I'm also going to try uh, on the inside the little whip. Um, for the perch as well, because there's always a few little perch um, hanging in, uh, you know, sort of in the uh, in the margins. Uh, the float I'm going to use is uh, a reverse pair, and for those who've been following my vlog, uh, you know what I mean. It's uh, basically for holding back. Yeah. So reverse pair with a shoulder, so it means I can hold back in this flow. It's not flowing, uh, you know, dramatically uh, fast, so uh, that should cope. In fact, I'll just run you through now just to see.
Mm, it's a bit snaggy, I just snagged them. <laughs> they might. They will, uh... Unfortunately, they're overhanging trees, I think, over the, over the season. The, uh, the branches are broken off, and I think that's what's caused it. So, not much I can do about that. I suppose really what I'd have to do is um, make sure I don't trot it too too much. <laughs> Just keep it still. Okay, we'll see. We shall see. And then, of course, my feeder rod, which is uh, an open-ended feeder, but I've taped it up because I want the feed to get to the bottom. And I've got a two-foot tail, uh, probably about two and a half foot. I'll try that first, and um, I can always shorten it if uh, if I miss any bites. Okay, we're just about to start now in a minute. Is that a deer? All right. All right. <laughs> My mate done that on 68, 67, he was only one to catch bream. Yeah. Hey, I bet I would normally do that on you. <laughs> no, I, mean, I do what you do, cut, just cut it in, but uh, solve it.
Yeah, I don't think he's going to like that then, because <laughs> I'm bored of him. I'm the only one who done it. As I said, my mate done it on uh, Tuesday, and uh, he had a couple of brains, so, you know. Bream or bust, as they say. Nothing for the first couple of minutes. I should go on the feed in a minute, across, and come back on this then later.
Okay, just go on the feed then. Well, we're halfway into the match now, and um, I haven't had a bite, <laughs> nor does Ian. Um, so it's going to be a struggle. What we can do is just sit down and um, just be patient, I suppose, and hope that they come. I've tried the um, whip inside as well for perch, but uh, didn't have any enjoy. He was saying that um, they're not showing at the moment. So that was a waste of time. Right, and I started on the worm, and now I've, um, I'm on a maggot now. I've, got, I've gone down in size hook just to see if I can, you know, perhaps pick something up. So I'm two thirds across uh, down the shelf. Just had a roach bite. <laughs> Little rattle then. Either roach or gudgeon. Just nip the end. Any bites in? Any bites? Hey? All oh, right. Yeah, I just missed the bite then. <laughs> All right. Oh, there I used to have a couple of skimmers above me. 
one ten ounce, one eight ounce, he says. Yeah, just a quick update. Um, two hours into the match, and I, I've had one eel. <laughs> a couple of bites off small fish, you know. And that's about it. But as I say, it's primo best. So, just a matter of waiting, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Typical day, you know. You know, if you're on them, you're on them. If you're not, you're not. I heard about a pounds within this section so far, so yeah. Keep trying. Okay, all right, well, three hours into the match. Um, haven't had any more bites, no knocks. I tried a worm, lob worm, tried a few different things. Somebody just come uh, up from the bottom and said a pound and a half is the best weight. So um, they're up. <laughs> Still all the fish are all right. Yeah, it's a funny old place to even, isn't it? A bit of rain, they thought they would fish its head off, but um, the way it's gone, fish worse now today. All right, at least I catch some fish tomorrow. Back down. Port Talbot in South Wales. At least I should catch twenty pound plus. Hope, hope so. Okay, I'm um, in the last hour now. <laughs> Still waiting for a bite. Uh, there you are. Just fishing. Fair dues to uh, Ian. He's had three skimmers and an eel above me, so. Um, but he's in another section. I'm not sure what's in this section, so. You never know. Another eel or something at the end, though. I think the wind's picking up a bit and uh, it's kind of a bit chilly now. You think it'd be ideal conditions really for bream today, but I uh, can see the water starting to clear very well, it's getting very clear now, so maybe um maybe it's going too clear I think. Okay, I would go then. 
Okay, right, that's over. It's all over. <laughs> all over by the shouting. Just the one eel. There you go. That's uh, that's fishing. Um, what did I learn today? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I took a chance, you know, went for bream or bust. I think I could have probably had a couple of pounds of small bits, like, you know. But I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, you're not going to win anything. Um, maybe just a section, but there you are. Uh, you know, there's a chance that I took. I am heard of any bream caught. Um, usual pegs are caught, you know, up, up the top, peg seven, peg uh, one or two, you know. Uh, and on the bottom, apparently, the end peg again. So, uh, you know, I think um, one of my mates, I think, on peg um, 33, he's admitting to about seven pounds, so that's a good weight. Oh. Anyway, um, that's it. This is a Saturday match, so tomorrow I'm fishing, uh, as I said, Port Talbot, so I'll be down there tomorrow. Let's see, let's see if I uh, can do a bit better. <laughs> see, you ne see you next time. Well, looking at the, the weights, is uh, 21 pound off of uh, peg two. Kevin's done all right. Our team member, 11 pound off peg seven. So there's only ones and two pounds then all the way down. Six, six, three, seven pound on. Oh, Mike Martins. Yeah. Oh, 14 pound next to him. You can hear this a second. 17 pound, bloody hell. Brilliant. Oh. Well, some good weights from there. <laughs> Pete Modis 910. Oh dear. Oh, well, there you are. 21 pounds won it. 17 second, 14 third, 11 is fourth. Oh.